Hello, hello, and welcome to Tarot Parlor Podcast. On this very overcast and rainy, sprinkly, dark uh, morning, I'm sitting out here on the front porch, and we're going to pull some cards, and we're going to do a desert reading, which is a general reading involving a number of cards, no particular spread today. We're just going to pull some cards and let the story unfold, see what universe and the spirit want us to focus on, what are they going to tell us, what are they going to reveal, what's the story going to be, and whose story is this? Is this your story? I will be using a Rider White deck this morning, and with that said, off we go. I've pulled nine cards for this reading, and I will be posting a picture of those cards for you. So, at the center of it all is the chariot. Someone is in a real hurry to get going. They want to go someplace fast. This could be a literal journey, a literal place they're hurrying off to. But this also could be a change of lifestyle, a, a change in their life that they're hurrying to leave something behind and move forward to something else, possibly a relationship, a job, a way of life. And yet, they don't realize they don't even have the reins in their hands. It's like, how can they get going? How can they control the direction and the speed at which they're traveling? They can't. They can't. Someone has not thought things through clearly. Someone is in such a hurry to make such a tremendous change in their life that they just want to take off. They want to take off anywhere whichever direction it is, whatever it is, as long as it's someplace different from where they are now, physically, emotionally, mentally, let's just get going. It's like tossing a coin and finding out where you're going to turn up. They possibly were influenced by a very strong character in their life. And male or female, it's a dominant kind of alpha character. And this is someone whose opinion they take very seriously. But it's also someone whose criticism they take very seriously as well. And I feel that this could be for someone who has just been put down and put down and put down. So often they have reached the point where anything would be better than where they are now. So that's why they're not putting a lot of thought into this and they haven't, they haven't done anything concrete to make this change, this move, this journey um, logical. This is just going to add more issues and more problems and more anxiety to their life. There's the feeling that someone, this person in this chariot, they need a break. They need time to heal from from abuse, and it, it, I believe this is verbal abuse. This is not a physical uh, situation. It is verbal abuse, as I've said, and the feeling again is coming back. Someone who's just been put down, perhaps spoken to so negatively, so intensely, for such a lengthy period of time, it's, it's like eaten away at their self-confidence and their sense of peace and well-being as well. They have a wish, they have a desire, they have some sort of goal in the back of their mind, but as I said, they, they haven't done the concrete work and planning that needs to be done to actually manifest this, to actually attain what it is they're, they're, they think they're running off to. This may have involved a new romantic connection um, that someone has disapproved of, this dominant character in their life may have felt um, threatened somehow by uh, someone new coming into their life, taking up their time and attention. Oh, this dominant character in their life may very well have been a partner or a spouse because the Six of Swords reverse just come up. It's a, it's a divorce card. It's also the card of moving away, moving on, moving forward. But there, there's some glitches here. It's not going to be a smooth transition. They're working on it. They're working on it now. But as I said, this is not a smooth transition. It feels as though someone has been underneath this 
domineering, very strong alpha energy and personality for so long, maybe they've forgotten how to think for themselves. Maybe they've had things planned out for them for so long and been told what to do for so long and had everything lined up for them and taken care of for so long that they don't know how to do this themselves. That's going to be kind of a harsh learning process, isn't it? Again, the fool reversed. Uh, it's, it's that journey with no, no destination, no definite plan in mind. It's like starting off with no game plan and just feeling the sun on your face and the breeze at your back, and I guess wherever you wind up, you will. There's, there's a feeling with that of an air of desperation, someone that really, really, really needs to, to start fresh somewhere. They need to remove themselves from someone or a situation or a marriage or a partnership. It's just not a happy thing. Oh, yeah, there's, there's confirmation here with it that this is possibly uh, a divorce in the making, a separation. There could be someone rushing in at the last minute um, to um, try to stop them from doing this um, with words of verbal verbiage. Is that a word? Verbiage. <laughs> That's the, that's the word I'm seeing. That's a word I'm hearing in my head. There's a lot of, of verbal shit, in other words, coming through. Someone's not going to like this change that they're making. They're not going to want them to leave the person or the situation that they're in. And this could be that person who is, who is in that situation, that dominant alpha. So there's someone going to try to stop them. There's someone going to try to convince them to stay. Yeah, there's a lot of um, panicked energy here from this, this person close to them, this dominant person in their life. A lot of panicked energy. Maybe this is the first time this individual has kind of risen to the moment and, and asserted themselves and, and really reached out and tried to claim their independence. Uh, there's also someone going to be watching them. They're going to they're going to have someone paying very close attention to them, whether it's, whether it's actually physically stalking them or watching them online. Their movements, their decisions, their choices, their actions, they're going to be scrutinized very closely. If this is you, know that something helpful to know. Um, you may have felt like a martyr for a long time in a really dire situation that just uh, seemed very bleak for you and kind of killed your soul. Um, you may not have wanted to deal with the fallout from this relationship and the situation that you were in and your total lack of independence, the feeling you had of absolutely no freedom to make your own decisions to uh, make your own choices. And the final card here is the Eight of Cups. It's like, it did come up reversed. This is like, finally, finally, you can walk away from this. You can remove yourself from the situation. You finally reached a point of no return, whether game plan or not. Anywhere is better than where you are now. And the reversed, the reversed position of this card just implies to me that that this is a last straw. It's a it's a sudden decision, and and you are just turning your back on everything you have been through and this whole situation, and you are just ready to strike out and start over. And that's what I'm getting for today from this deck. I hope that if this is you, I hope that this has given you some sense of comfort or some insight that can help you to move forward in a positive manner. I hope that this has given you some confirmation that you're doing the right thing because people in this situation sometimes keep questioning and, and self-doubting 
you know, am I doing the right thing? Is this the right thing? Am, am I sure I want to do this? Yeah, I'm pretty sure you want to do this. Uh, it looks like this has been long overdue, actually. You don't have to be a martyr. Yeah, you don't have to be that hangman on that card. So with that said, until the next time and until the next video, bye-bye.